welcome to another edition of Wayback Wednesday. South Haven wins title in overtime game, and Bangor Man on air over WLS next month. These were the headlines of the June 4, 1931 edition of the Bangor Advance. Both are interesting subjects and make good reading, but something else very important was happening in Bangor. It was graduation time for the Bangor High School class of 1931, and it was to be a busy week. Baccalaureate service was opened on Sunday evening with a song by the high school choir, and those in attendance joined in. The Reverends Hamilton, Yost, and Lenke participated in the service. On Thursday, May 28th, the juniors hosted the Senior Farewell Banquet, which centered around the theme of the radio, followed by an evening of dancing. The main event happened on June 4th, 1931. Reverend J. W. Fifield of Grand Rapids gave the keynote address, Pathways to Power. Music was provided by the Girls and Boys Glee Clubs, directed by Miss Root. Devotionals were given by Reverend Yost and Reverend Hamilton. Henry M. Karsten, representing the Board of Education, presented the graduates with their diplomas. Jumping ahead to 1981, according to the August 4th edition of the Bangor Advance, 29 Bangor students received diplomas, and in July of 1981, 22 graduates were able to return to the 50-year class reunion. Fifteen former classmates still resided in Michigan, with only one class member deceased, Bertha Crone. A class photo of the reunion was published in the Bangor Advance September 1, 1981. This invitation, along with other documents, can be found in the local history collection at the Van Buren District Library in Decatur, Michigan.